Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I want you to meet Maggie, my rescue cat. I gotta be, she's really skittish so, I gotta be careful. She's getting really used to the place, used to my place, and she's sitting on the couch right now. Trying to get a better shot without her getting scared. That's her right there. She's, she's being really good. Uh, and uh, we got her from the Humane Society Friday. Because my sister asked if I wanted to get a rescue cat. Well, they've been talking about me getting one since Dad passed away, like a little over two months ago. Well, over two months ago. And uh, after last weekend when I watched Alice, you know, they, you know, they really were saying like I should really get one. And then this Friday morning, oh, uh, this Friday morning they said, uh, my sister asked, because I already had plans with. Uh, Gloria uh, to go get just get my child just gonna stay in town and stuff like that my sister said can I, if I wanted to she had the afternoon off I guess she asked if I wanted to go look for a cat I said oh okay but I got plans she said, can you cancel them so I called up and I canceled them and we went down to Humane Society and we saw a bunch of cats and we saw Maggie Maggie uh, was nine years old and it was quite possibly she was there like she's been there for a while it's quite possible she probably would have never gotten adopted if I wouldn't adopt her. And I think she's a sweet cat. Um, I haven't had a cat since, well, when I came home from the Army, uh, when my sister was pregnant, she got a cat named Callie. And that was pretty much my sister's cat. And she was saying that uh, when she was pregnant with Taylor, Callie never left her side. Ooh, don't be scared. Callie never left her side, you know. And uh, when my sister ended up moving out, well, I don't know, around 95 or so or something like that, maybe earlier, uh, Callie became my responsibility. And Callie lived up for 18 years, and then late in around the summer of 2010, she started getting really sick, and I couldn't. And no matter what I did, you know, she was just getting worse and worse, so I... Had, end up having to put her to sleep, which was one of the most painful things I've ever had to do, you know. And after that, I vowed never get any more pets. And my dad didn't want any pets because he didn't like pets. He he really didn't like it. And then when he was on oxygen, whenever he got put on oxygen, uh, 2013, we really couldn't have pets, you know. And I mean, he had to make, he couldn't have, uh, we just didn't have any. And then, you know, Upon his unfortunate passing, he starts saying I should really get like a rescue cat or something like that, you know. And I got my good cat, Maggie, who's really good, but she's just real scared and skittish and stuff. But she's been, she's getting good. She's getting really acquainted with the place and uh, she's been such a sweet girl. I haven't had a cat since 2010 and there really hasn't been a pet in, uh, except for my neighbor Doug would uh, come over once or twice with his dog Buckwheat and Buckwheat would be on like the porch you know but aside from that we haven't had except for Alice there hasn't been a pet in this house since uh, Callie passed away since 2010 I can't remember in May June 2010 or something like that and uh, Maggie's a good addition to the to the house and I love Maggie do you want to get a good close up see if I can get a close up Maggie she won't get scared I don't know Look at Maggie. There she is. It's Maggie. Hi, Maggie. What a good kitty. I decided I wanted to give you an up-close and personal look at uh, my rescue cat, Maggie. I don't know when she'll be ready to, you know, do reviews and stuff like that, but she'll always be a part of the house no matter what. Maybe sometime I'll get a review and a... Uh, Doing a review of her Purina into a cat cat chow, but it's kind of tough to get her when she's eating and stuff. But I just wanted to show you my rescue cat Maggie. She's a good girl, ain't you, ain't you Maggie? So until next time, bye. Please take care, of my legion. And it helps me out because I have company now. Because I was all in the well for the most part. Alice kept me company last week.
And now Maggie's keeping me company. And she's being such a good girl. All right. Take care, everyone. I love you, Maggie. No, look at the kitty. <laughs> it's Maggie. And my sister and I were thinking that Rod Stewart song, Maggie May. Being for our kitty. I, I'm glad that I got her because I don't think anyone would have adopted her because people don't adopt older cats. But I, she, she's pretty much a good fit for me. She just needs to get more acquainted. But she's getting more accustomed to uh, the house and to me. And she's really a wonderful cat. 